Shalom Am Israel. First and foremost, I want to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of David. Salutations to you brothers throughout the four corners of the earth teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity to you Israelite foreigners. Come back home to the truth to those that passed away serving the Lord. The dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. I want to do this video because there's a summit going on right now. Israelite summit. And also, of course, you know that Comfy had his goons at the at the same march that House of Israel had, you know, brothers that got into that now infamous um, shouting match, I guess, between them and the kids with the MAGA hats. Um, you know, and I just want to say that, uh, you know, I just want to pull one scripture. You know, I'm going to try to be brief with this video. You know, but the reason why you won't see any men of valor or a lot of other camps for that matter doing stuff like that. Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? That's all. You know, this is a spiritual walk is a, is a walk. It's a journey. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's very important that you do what's called best practice. You know, when you do anything in life. You know, if you have a job and you're on the job. You know, there's 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 a there there are twenty ways to get the same result, but there's also the best way to get the same the the, the right result. You know, and the and the ends don't always justify the means. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, I don't I don't want people to get the impression that we are uh, being negative or anything against unity or against uh you you know Israel coming together as a nation. You know, but first and foremost, the nation is going to come together under Yahweh Shai, not under no banner, not under no summits, you know, and that's fine. You know, I'm not knocking the summit. You know, the summit is an opportunity for a lot of Israelites that that probably admire each other and, and, and respect one another to actually be in the same roof and, and be in unity and get to know each other. Have no problem with that. You know, but the reason why you won't see us at a summit. The reason why you don't see us having unity camps, the reason why, you know, we don't mix and mingle with all these other camps is simple. Can two walk together lest they be agreed? You know, we've had brothers check us out. We've went to other brothers camps, check them out. You know, we, we show respect to any sincere group of Israelites out there. You know, even if they're not teaching the right doctrine, they're doing something. They're going out there and teaching something. You know, and, and, and Lord willing, they'll come and, and get the right doctrine at some point, you know, because this thing is of the Lord, you know, but we don't mix and mingle. We don't do all that other stuff because of the fact that we have to make sure that we do what's called what I just said was best practice. You know, we could have unity camps, but what happens when somebody come and asks us, hey, uh, what was Cornelius? You know, or. You know, when's the Sabbath? You know, we're going to say, oh, it was based off the new moon. But my reader, who might be part of another camp, might say, hey, the Sabbath is Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. You know, so it, it, it becomes critical, you know, for us to draw a line of distinction. It's not that we think we better than nobody. It's not that we hate nobody. You know, there's a brother that comes to check us out probably once every two months, him, his wife and another brother and then the last time he came with like three other brothers that we never seen before you know another time those brothers had went to camp in patterson with the lions of israel and lions of israel and them came all the way out to elizabeth to check us out you know including daniela who i personally know you know i know a lot of brothers in the truth you know not not to brag but i've been in this now it's it's 18 years i've been in this truth I've met 18 years worth of brothers, 18 years worth of holy days, 18 years worth of, 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 you know, congregating. So, you know, and I've been in different camps, different situations. So clearly I know, I know a good amount of brothers and I have a good relationship with a lot of brothers. Don Yala, I had a great relationship with him all these years. That's a great brother, you know, uh, in my personal opinion, you know, uh, AOC, I, I respect and love those brothers. You know, the the brother, the the pull-up boys, I, I don't really, I, I've, I've chopped it up with a couple of them. 
at, at an event, at a function. I don't really know them. Of course, I know it's about, I was part of HOI before these brothers came into that, you know, that camp. You know, Amaf Pagai, the one that you saw in the video, the Ephraimite chief Ephraim, he was in the truth before me. And I never, I, I met him a couple times, but I never really got to really chop it up with him. But, you know, uh, we, we don't, but at the end of the day, it's not about who you like. It's about doing the best for the, the truth, you know. Of course, the, the scriptures say you can't do nothing against the truth, only for it. But, again, there's, there's, there's all these other ways to get to one, um, to, to one result. And there's best practice, you know, like. Like if you cooking, you know, you can follow the cookbook and how I have all the measuring cups and, and okay, the, the shit says a cup of this, a cup and a half of that, two teaspoons of this, two tablespoons of that, you know, and, and if you do, if you follow the, the directions exactly the way it says, you will get to the right result guaranteed. But if you start cutting corners, let's say you don't got no measuring cups, so you just, oh, this is about a cup. This is about a tablespoon. The end result is going to be, yeah. It might be right, it might not be right. You know what I'm saying? It might still be banging, but it might not be as banging as it would have been if you would have followed fucking instructions, you know? So that's the way the truth is. There's a lot of different ways to to do things. There's no one universal right way, you know? Some brothers use so-called profanity or curse words in their teachings. You know, brothers that don't use profanity can't knock us because we use so-called profanity. You know what I'm saying? We can't knock them because they don't, you know, we, we both teach it. We're not doing the wrong thing. We just going out there and, and pushing the word. You know what I mean? Um, you got some brothers that have a, 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 a pulpit of wood that they stand on. They put two milk crates down a, a, a thing of wood, like a wood plank, whatever, and, and, and go to camp. And then you got two men with staffs on either side. Like that's the old school one West camp. We don't do that. You know, neither one is wrong, you know, both the scriptural, you know, but when it comes down to best practice is you can't have men in your camp. First off, you got to know men got to know each other to go out and labor. That's why when you come by our camp, we're, we're no longer, we, we learned our lesson from letting brothers in too early. Now men got to prove themselves, you know, so that's one thing, you know, another thing is that. You know, men, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Men not only have to have to prove themselves, we have to get to know you. If you're going to come out here and you want to come push with us, we got to know you. You know, it's not a simple thing of, oh, let's, let's just all be one happy family. Because what happens is we let somebody in, we don't really know them. Next thing you know, all the demons start coming out. Now, now you realize, oh, wait a minute, this motherfucker got a little something wrong with him. You got a little rebellious spirit now, nah, and we got to kick him out. You know, we could, we could, and, and by the time we kick him out, he done fucking offended brothers, and, and and we see him ten years down the line, and they complain about that brother that we wound up kicking out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he that brother offended me. Oh yeah, well we kicked him out two months after you left. You know, should have stuck around. You know, but we should have been more prudent and, and and been more analytical of the situation, and not let somebody in too soon. You know, you feel what I'm saying? So, you know, we have to do everything right. And that's why we don't go to he Hebrew summits. Am I knocking them? Am I knocking the unity? No, it's a beautiful thing. But it's not, it's not best practice when it comes down to doctrine. You know what I'm saying? You know, you want, you want to unite under the right doctrine. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with a camp here you know, getting up with a camp there as long as they teach the right thing. Or listen, even if you don't teach the right thing, you just want to fellowship, show love, you know, stick with what we, we, what we agree on, then that's fine. But if we're going to actually do something as serious as push the word, we can't, we can't do it like that. Because that's like a, that's like a, a, a group of Sprint employees and Verizon employees. They cool with each other. They can hang out. But when it comes down to work, you're not going to be using the lines and, and the lingo that Sprint used while you over here with Verizon doing a serious job. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why companies are like that. That's why if you work for Verizon, you work for Verizon. You got to talk their slang. You got to do things the way they do it. You work for Sprint, you got to do things the way they do it. And if you want to work for Verizon, you have to undo all the shit you learned at Sprint. Except for the universal shit. But you got to talk that Verizon slang now if you want to work for Verizon. It's the same thing with if you want to be a man of valor, then you have to push that the, that the Sabbath is off the new moon. You have to believe in the Israelite foreigners, meaning meaning that there's people that might identify as Caucasian, Irish, Chinese, African, and all that other good stuff, but that they're actually of Israelite descent. You know, you have to believe in these things and you have to push these things. If you don't, then you can't be a man of valor. Plain and simple. That's all. There's no hatred though. If you don't believe it, listen, you know, we'll reason with you, the flat earth and all that shit. We'll read, we'll talk to you, we'll reason with you. I could, I could congregate with somebody that, don't, that, that believes in the flat earth, but... No, no, excuse me, not congregate. I could chop it up with. <laughs> and I could be cool with somebody that believes in the flat earth. You know? But as far as you being part of my camp, nah, that's that's not best practice. That's, that's awful practice. Because then when somebody comes and wants to know what the shape of the earth is... Matter of fact, better yet, you believe in the flat earth, but somebody comes to us and the camp don't believe in the flat earth. And somebody believes in it, what are you going to do? Take sides with them? Because what you're really supposed to do is cut the shit out of them. Even if you believe it. You know damn well you're part of a camp that don't believe it. What you really should do is, is cut the hell out of a motherfucker that comes by the camp and says the earth is flat. Even if you believe in it. You know? That's why you have to vet these men before they get in the camps though. Don't let no man in the camp too soon. You know? Because that's going to cause more losses. You know, what if we let a man in the camp that believes that the heathens could be saved? Not not Israelite foreigners, actual fucking heathens. That's going to cause confusion. I've seen I've literally I have literally seen with my own two eyes a school that was torn apart by men believing that the heathens could be saved and believing in the immaculate conception. I've seen it with my own eyes because this is the school that I first came in the truth through. That now is a 99 cent. It was actually a school that is now a 99 cent store. You know, all, all the people that paid tights left with that false doctrine. You know, you had people paying tights. It just wasn't enough. The whole school got torn apart, <laughs> literally. You know, so you, you, have to, you have to protect what's right and what's true. You know what I mean? Um, and that's why we don't do unity camps. That's why we don't do summits. You know, that's why you won't catch us doing a camp purposely, you know what I'm saying, um, and, and, and cause all that type of uproar, you know. Not not saying that we won't we won't cause an uproar. A lot of times teaching will cause an uproar, you know. Yahweh shot cause uproars. You know, we're going to be public enemy fucking number one no matter what. But we have to do everything the right way. We can't cut corners we can't say you know what i want to see unity so i'm gonna have 10 camps together we just can't do that you know a lot of you brothers that want that do these unity camps and have all these summits no disrespect a lot of y'all come from one west and really what it is is that you just want to see that spirit again you want to see 50 men in a camp again you know but it may not that that may not be in the, in the works you know but anyway with that i don't, don't want to ramble no more Scriptures say, plain and simple, can two walk together lest they be agreed? All right? You know, we have to say, have one doctrine, you know, keep it all unified. Anybody wants to come check us out, you're welcome to, as long as you're sincere. You know, we check other P other brothers out at camp, you know, and, and that's what it is. But we won't join a camp, and no camp can join us if they don't teach the same thing. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity to you, Israelite foreigners. Come back home to the truth, to those that passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. Shalom.